Hey everybody, Chris Gilliland here with Screw Conveyor Parts and today we're going to talk about screws. So what I have in front of me is a six inch diameter screw. And so when we size screws, we're talking about the outside diameter of the flighting. Also, when we size a screw conveyor, we're gonna also talk about the outside diameter of the flighting. So if we say we have a six inch screw conveyor, that means we have a six inch screw and it's gonna be in a one inch larger housing, so a seven inch housing. And same thing for all of our standard sizes. So we have nine inch, 12 inch, 14, 16, all the way up to 24 inch. So all of those are gonna be based on the outside diameter of the screw. So there's three basic components to a screw. You have the flighting, which is wrapped around a common piece of pipe. In this case, this is a two inch schedule 40 pipe. And then at the ends, we have bushings to reduce it down to our drive and coupling shaft diameters. So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about flighting. So there are a lot of options for flighting. And the first thing we look at is, like I said, the OD. The OD of this is a six inch diameter screw. The next thing we look at is the pitch. Pitch is the distance from one flight to the next. And when, we, when they're all the same, so this is a six inch, and our standard for what we call a full pitch would be a six inch pitch on a six inch screw. And so they're all continuous, they're all six inch from one to the next, the entire length of the screw. Next thing we have is a thickness. And so we talk about our thickness of the flighting and there's a lot of options for thickness. Some of it depends on the type of flighting. So we have two processes for making flighting. First process is where we roll a continual helix. So you can see this actually starts as flat bar and goes through a die and is rolled to this pitch and diameter and then slid on the pipe and welded on. Another style is sectional where it's actually just one pitch at a time. We press out one pitch on a press, we put it on here, we weld, we weld up the seam, and we continue down all the way. Helical flighting is great, it's super economical, it's pretty heavy, you can see here this is uh, almost a quarter inch thick at the tip. Um, but sectional flighting allows us to do a lot of variations that we can't necessarily do with helical flighting. Sectional flighting, we can do a lot of different materials of construction, we can do a lot of different pitches, we can do notches in here or uh, cut and fold, versus helical flighting, which is a large piece of equipment and requires a lot of setup to be able to roll our flighting. There's a couple different styles of welding that are important to Most screws are skip welded on, so typically you're alternating every other pitch front to back with welds. And that's the most standard way, and that welding is more than sufficient to carry the flighting and have plenty of structural rigidity. Other styles are when we continuously weld the front face, or we continuously weld the back face, or we do them both, should I say. That's common in a lot of sanitary applications where we weld both sides, and then sometimes we weld the front side only. If we have a tough application, maybe we have something under a hopper is really common for feeder screws. We'll weld continuously the front side just to give some extra strength to the joint. One of the other important factors about screws is the hand. And so when we talk about them being right hand or left hand, that, that is how we roll the flighting. Do we roll it this direction or do we roll it in the other direction that comes off the helix? So one thing that a lot of people have trouble determining is the hand just by looking at it. And there's a lot of great charts out there, but for me, I simply say, if I can put my right hand down on the flight, it's right-handed. So if I tried to do it with my left hand, I wouldn't be able to do that, it'd cross over. So I know I can always look at the side of a screw and know that's a right-hand flight. And it's really important because if you have a right-hand screw and you put a left hand in there, that won't work, it'll convey the opposite way. And vice versa, if you have left hand screws, which are pretty rare, um, and you put a right hand in there, it won't convey. Right hand screws are gonna be the vast majority of all screws. And like I said, you can look at the side, lay your hand down, I know that's a right hand screw. Okay, so we turned the screw, and it's kinda hard to do in this small studio, but we've got it turned so you can see the end of it. Of course, this is a standard length screw, and. Also we're talking about standard length screw conveyors for six inch and nine inch, standard length sections are 10 feet long. The screws are shorter uh, 
And the reason they're shorter is so you can fit a hanger bearing, um, like something like this in between. So that way you can fit, and this is the wrong size, but you can fit a uh, hanger bearing in there and still maintain your standard 10 foot. So this screw, six inch for inch and a half is gonna be two inches shorter than standard. So this would be a nine foot 10 screw. So as you can see here on the end, you've got your two, your two inch schedule 40 pipe, which I think I said two and a half before, it was actually two inch schedule 40 pipe. And then that's bushed down on the end for your inch and a half shafts. You have two cross drilled holes, which are one is here. And then the other is, might be hard to see, but it's on the back side here. And those two cross drilled holes are where your shaft goes in, your coupling bolts attach. And that standard connection, all screw conveyors are gonna be based on two things, the screw diameter and the shafting. So this being a six inch screw with an inch and a half shafting and a two bolt will always bolt up to other screws with the same configuration. So that's kind of everything there is to a screw. They're not that complicated. This is a really short video and I just wanted to talk about some of the components. We have some great diagrams on our website as well. And again, we do stock these screws in our standard, what we say are nominal lengths. So for a six inch, that's 10 foot, which is actually going to be nine foot 10 to allow for that hanger bearing. And then the same thing, we stock them for all sizes. Uh, we can make these custom order to any size you need. We can also chop these down and insert a bushing and, and re-drill them as well. So thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know.